In this video, we are gonna be looking at six of my favorite brands to shop from right now. I feel like this year, more than other years, there's such a wide variety of different aesthetics, price points, uh, brands, etc. So in this video, we're gonna be covering all of that. So let's start off with number one. So the first brand we're gonna be talking about is J. Crew. Yes. J Crew. If you haven't already heard, they've received a major rebrand. They went from being a mall juggernaut across all of North America to going bankrupt. And since then, they've done a bit of a facelift led by Brendan Babenzian, who is a New York based creative director for the brand now. So he was a longtime employee of Supreme and then went on to go start his own New York based brand called Noah, which is like a street skate brand mixed with menswear. And so now J Crew, they started fresh. They removed all of their posts off of social media on Instagram and they've restarted and now the brand has this really cool and aesthetic to it. It's like a, a modern take on a, a workwear and menswear all combined. And I just love some of their pieces. It's like a classic Americana type of look. You see with this workwear inspired jacket, which is really clean. You have this knit sweater that has just a ton of details to it. You know, we're talking about cardigans, corduroy carpenter pants with these nice hiking boots with these bright red laces. The brand is just has a lot of buzz around it right now. Kind of like how Abercrombie did. Uh, about a year ago when they did a rebrand. So if you love that sort of Americana, uh, you know, New York based workwear style, when you think of like Amy Leandor and like the latest Kith collection, for example, then this is definitely down your alley. And like I said, some of the price, uh, some of the products are already on sale. So if you're looking for something new and exciting, I would definitely start with J Crew this fall. So the next brand we're going to be talking about is Uniqlo. Now, of course, you guys all know Uniqlo, but each and every fall and season, really, they come out with their own Uniqlo U collection. Now, if you didn't know, the U collection is designed in Paris by designer Christophe Lemaire, and each time, each season, it just hits after hit after hit. And the reason for that is because it has this like luxury basics vibe to it all within an affordable price and so of course this season they have a ton of heat um you know first of all i just love this first aesthetic right here with the couple i absolutely love it we're talking about some pleated trousers wide fitting you know nice harrington style jackets long coats exaggerated scarves the whole bit so ultimately it's just a really clean aesthetic here when you think of Parisian aesthetic all encapsulated into clothes for an affordable price and something that's very wearable Then I think that is exactly what the U collection encapsulates and the best part is even if you don't grab any of the clothes You should definitely use the lookbook that they've posted online just as like outfit inspiration You know, you can reach into your own closet and just put pieces together uh, in this similar way if you love the aesthetic so the next brand we are going to be talking about is Supreme. Now, I never thought I would say this. I kind of jumped off the Supreme bandwagon back in around 2018 or so. Um, but they're, they, like the other brands, have a new creative director, Tremaine Imori, and they just, he just put out his first collection, which I'm a big fan of. Now, if you don't know Tremaine Imori, he's one of those like internet, social media cool guys that like you don't really know much about, but you know he has good fashion sense, and he surrounds himself with like like-minded people. And so I did a little bit of research on him, and he worked at Marc Jacobs, he worked at Supreme, and uh, you know he started his own brand, Denim Tears, which you, I'm sure you. I've seen a lot of like athletes and celebrities uh, wear these types of pants and like I said He just hangs out with other cool guys anyways So his first collection with supreme dropped and there's a bunch of stuff that I want to just go over with you guys So aside from the obvious accessories like the motorcycle, it's just ridiculous, uh, but cool stuff You know, he's got a lot of denim jackets It's like the heritage of supreme but with a little bit of a face left on it So the first thing that jumps out to me really is the two-in-one jacket right here This is a vest and and a shell jacket, Gore-Tex, so it's gonna repel the water like crazy. We're seeing more chore jackets and trucker jackets with contrast collars um, and also some bright colors, which Supreme oftentimes does. They also have these mohair cardigans, which are really nice that have some loud prints on them. As you know, I love a good cardigan. But one of the pieces that definitely stood out to me the most was this contrast denim jacket with the black denim and the blue denim. But ultimately, I think it's just really fresh. And I think it's cool that Supreme, you know, they were like everybody's favorite hype brand for a while. And they're definitely one of the most iconic streetwear brands. So the fact that they may have a little bit of, uh, you know, a boost in popularity um, for people who may have fallen out of the brand, 
I think that's really cool. So this next brand I want to talk about is a UK based brand called represent Clo. I'm sure you guys have heard about them before, but if you haven't, their aesthetic is very much like a, a male audience who's into streetwear and fitness and likes to dress up on the weekend. That's kind of like the, if I had to summarize it either way, from an operational standpoint, I think this brand is doing an excellent job, whether it's on social media or just the buying process is really nice. They have their own app where they make, you know, fitness inspired content, but overall their aesthetic does sort of lend itself to more streetwear. They have a lot of graphic t-shirts, but as the brand has gotten older, they've evolved into more um, tasteful pieces like, you know, quilted jackets and flannels uh, all the way to, you know, uh, wide fitting trousers. And now that they're doing their own sneakers as well I do have a little bit of a gripe about the sneakers although I think they look nice I feel like the designs are inspired by other popular sneakers I mean the resemblance between the Travis Scott sneakers and like the Nike Air Hot Steppo, which is the Drake shoe, uh, but also their activewear. I think that's really cool how like you can go and shop at a brand that has like streetwear inspired clothes, but if you're into fitness, you can grab some of that stuff as well. So another UK based brand that is sort of adjacent to represent Clo is Cole Buxton. They are, in my opinion, specialists on track pants and loungewear and hoodies, for example. And uh, that's the definitely the pieces that I would grab. Um, and just the overall aesthetic of the brand in terms of the wash of the clothes, the quality, the fit, they do a really great job at it. And if you don't love the wash blocks, they have bright colors as well. So depending on what you like to wear, they have some great offerings. And another thing that they do, um, they have these graphic tees that have this boxing motif uh, tied to them. Um, and this, which I think lends itself to the sort of athleisure aesthetic to the brand. I think that's an excellent job as well. And uh, yeah, they're starting to branch out into other clothing items as well in terms of trucker hats and socks and just some cool accessories as well. So if you are into this sort of cozy vibe, then I think Cole Buxton is leading the charge for sure. Guys, I saved the best for last. If you love the sort of affordable minimalist aesthetic, you definitely need to check out Koss. I was just in their store yesterday and I saw these boots, which are incredible. Definitely like an affordable Balenciaga vibe. The point being is that they do focus on quality and craftsmanship, like I said, for an affordable price. Um, and I just love some of their pieces, whether it's a wash pair of black denim or some nice fleece, they've definitely perfected outerwear and, and pants and just a really clean lifestyle and wearable colors. Now, one thing I mentioned at the beginning of this segment that I love are their footwear. It's not just boots. They have these, you know, really cool casual mule slip-ons that I really love. And they have, uh, you know, these chunky sole dressier shoes, which really have this nice affordable Prada aesthetic to them. I just really love it. And by far, one of my favorite things that they make are accessories, bags. They have nice beanies that come in a wide range of colors, nylon hats. So if you love a minimalist vibe in your clothing, if you're like me, you're a little bit understated, you definitely need to check them out. And the best part is they're starting to pop up stores all over North America and Europe. Let me know what brands you guys are shopping at in the comments below. Let's help each other out and give each other suggestions. There's nothing better than the feeling of putting somebody on or somebody putting you on. If you want to learn about more fall trends and exciting things to wear, click this video right here. Or if you want to see some Air Jordan 1 outfit ideas, check out that video right there. So let me click on one of those and I'll meet you guys there.